In the world of modern warfare, air superiority isn't just about who flies the fastest or carries the biggest bomb, it's about who sees first, strikes first, and disappears before the enemy even knows they're under attack. For years, the spotlight has been on Western stealth fighters like the F-35 Lightning II, praised for their sensor fusion, network warfare, and near invisibility to radar. But while analysts were busy comparing wing shapes and radar cross-sections, Russia quietly embedded something far more dangerous inside its own fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57. And it's not the engine, not the missiles, and not even its stealth coating. It's a system so advanced, so tightly integrated, that most public discussions about the Su-57 barely mention it at all. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on the secret weapon inside the Su-57, the one that's reshaping how Russia fights in the skies, and why NATO commanders are taking a second look at what they once dismissed as a stealth wannabe. The story begins not with a missile test or a dogfight, but with a problem. In the early 2000s, Russian military planners faced a harsh reality. Their fourth-generation fighters, like the legendary Su-27 and MiG-29, were increasingly vulnerable to modern air defenses and Western radar networks. Even with upgrades, they couldn't match the situational awareness of an F-35, which could share data across platforms, detect threats from hundreds of miles away, and engage without ever revealing its position. Russia needed more than just a new airframe. It needed a new nervous system for its fighters. And that's exactly what they built. Enter the Su-57's true game changer, its integrated avionics suite centered around the N-036 Belka radar and the Himalayas electronic warfare system. On paper, these names sound technical, and they are. But their real power lies in how they work together. Unlike older Russian jets, where radar jamming and targeting were separate systems bolted onto the airframe, the Su-57 was designed from the ground up as a single, unified combat organism. Every sensor talks to every other sensor. Every decision is processed in real time. And the pilot? They're less of a button pusher and more of a battlefield conductor. Let's start with the radar, because this isn't your grandfather's dish spinning in the nose cone. The N-036 Belka is an active electronically scanned array, or AESA, radar, but it's actually five radars in one. There's the main X-band array in the nose, capable of tracking over 60 targets simultaneously and engaging up to 16 at once. Then mounted along the leading edges of the wings are two L-band arrays. These operate at a longer wavelength, which makes them far better at detecting stealth aircraft like the F-35, whose shapes are optimized to hide from X-band frequencies. And finally, there's a rear-facing X-band array in the tail, giving the Su-57 full 360-degree coverage. No blind spots, no surprises. But here's where it gets even more interesting. These radars don't just scan and report, they coordinate. If the wing-mounted L-band radar picks up a faint signature that might be a stealth fighter, it cues the nose radar to focus its high-resolution X-band beam on that exact spot. It's like having a wide-angle security camera that whispers to a high-powered spotlight, look over there. This layered sensing approach gives the Su-57 a unique edge in contested airspace, where every second counts and detection often means death. Now pair that with the Himalayas Electronic Warfare Suite, the Su-57's digital shield and sword. While Western fighters rely heavily on external pods for jamming, like the ALQ-131 on older F-16s, the Su-57 has its EW system baked into the airframe. Antennas are embedded in the skin, connected to powerful processors that can analyze incoming radar signals in microseconds. Once identified, the system can do more than just jam. It can spoof, deceive, or even mimic friendly aircraft to confuse enemy defenses. In Ukraine, there have been multiple unconfirmed but credible reports of Russian Su-57s flying near NATO-supplied air defense zones and causing sudden, unexplained radar outages or false target clusters. Ukrainian operators described seeing ghost aircraft appear on their screens, dozens of blips where only one jet was flying. That's not magic. That's the Himalayas in action, flooding the electromagnetic spectrum with noise and illusions, turning the battlefield into a hall of mirrors. 
and it's not just defensive. The Su-57 can use its EW suite offensively, locking on to enemy radar emissions and launching anti-radiation missiles like the HX-31P or the newer HX-58 USK to destroy surface-to-air missile sites before they even fire. This detect-and-destroy loop happens faster than a human can react, making the Su-57 not just a fighter, but a SEAD platform rolled into one. But none of this would matter if the pilot couldn't make sense of it all. That's where the Su-57's cockpit and data fusion come in. Unlike early Russian jets, which overloaded pilots with dials and switches, the Su-57 features a glass cockpit dominated by two large high-resolution displays. More importantly, it uses an onboard mission computer that fuses data from radar, EW, IRST, and data links into a single intuitive picture. The pilot doesn't have to toggle between modes or guess what's real. They see a unified threat map with targets ranked by priority and recommended weapons already highlighted. This level of integration was once thought impossible for Russian aerospace. After all, their electronics industry lagged behind the West for decades. But through a mix of indigenous innovation and strategic adaptation, some say even reverse engineering of captured or acquired Western tech, Russia has closed the gap faster than many expected, and the Su-57 is the proof. Even more telling is how the jet is evolving in real combat. Since its first confirmed deployment over Ukraine in 2023, the Su-57 has flown dozens of missions, not just as a showpiece, but in electronic reconnaissance, strike coordination, and even as a quarterback for groups of older Su-35s and Su-34s. In one reported incident, a Su-57 used its data link to guide Su-35s to targets it had identified with its L-band radar, allowing the less stealthy jets to launch long-range missiles without ever entering enemy radar coverage. This kind of networked warfare was once the exclusive domain of the F-35. Now Raya has its own version, and it's getting better with every sortie. And let's not forget the software. Like the F-35, the Su-57's capabilities are defined as much by its code as by its metal. Russian engineers have adopted an iterative software development model, pushing regular updates that refine sensor performance, improve jamming algorithms, and expand weapon compatibility. Early Su-57s could only carry a limited set of missiles internally. Today's models can deploy the R-77M, R-37M, and even precision glide bombs, all while maintaining stealth. That's not just hardware, it's digital evolution in real time. 